pattycollins.blogspot.com. What a mouthful. How are you doing? Really good. Feeling good just to you know, come off stage, what it was. Didn't realise we had so many fans in it. You know there was kids crying? No. Yeah, there was kids crying when Papa King Yumi came out. No. Real. Their love is so strong. That's what makes it worthwhile. Yeah. I've asked you before, I'm going to ask you on camera, how the hell did you not do it? Uncle B. Yeah. Uncle B, Uncle B did it. He he put his his money and his faith into us, and without him, we would have had no studio, no one to drive us to our shows, no one to pay for our videos to put on Channel U. Without him, it would be nothing. Uncle B did. It. R I P, Uncle B, man. R I P. So like we've done the first album, we've smacked five hundred thousand copies sold. What are you spending your money on? What's going on? What, what, what's buying the a house. Yeah. Got my car. Up. No, I'm buying the house. What's the car? The new A3 convertible. <laughs> you know I ride a bike. Do you? Yeah, I ride a bike. Gangster That's how chick. I roll. That's how I roll. Tell us about the outfit, because you're looking hot today. Do you know what? Don't watch the shoes, because I just changed into my flats, because I'm not really feeling, right. you know. And I stumped my foot on the, on the door You see well. the dirt as well here? The, the dirt is there, a lot. You can see. It's all right. We, but, we um, it real. Yeah, I've got my flats on, but the dress that I wore on stage, I did a quick outfit change mid performance. We saw that. We saw that. And I had bare drama, because the earpiece and the pack was not um, on properly, so they ended up putting a gold belt on. This doesn't match, I was having a heart attack. But I just ran out with it on and went for it. And then after the song, I jumped up and said, get this bloody belt off me. And clipped it on my back and I was ready to go. So. Who are you looking forward to seeing later? We've got Kanye, Kit Cuddy, Mark, uh, what's that, Daniel Merriweather. Who are you going to see Diversity. Next? I want to see them. Oh, I want to see them. You should get them in the video. I know. Are you going to do it? Good look. I know, you, I know that you're working with Chipmunk on the singer because I heard it. Little sneaky. Oh, did you hear yeah, it? Yeah, I've heard it. She's one of well the first. Do you like it? <laughs> There you go, you've got the exclusive, you know, right here. How did, how did that hook up? How did you and Chipmunk get together? Chipmunk gave me a call, he said, T, I've got this track, right? And um, we've got like another female, we tried like a male on it and this and that, but he goes, when I heard this chorus, it was meant for you, you have to do this for me, T. I said, all right, email me over the track, how to listen? I was like, I want it. So I went straight to the studio, we actually recorded it in the end of the studio. So he brought all the, the tracks to the end of the studio and we sat down. Me and Daffy recorded the vocals for the chorus, and that's it. It's going to be coming out soon, hopefully. So now you're you're in the studio with Endo's second album. Who's on it? Who's producing? What can we expect? What's the title? Give us some love. So far, all the songs on the album have been produced by Phaser from Endo. If you don't know, lots of people don't know what Phaser does. No, he doesn't just do one eight bar on every song. <laughs> He makes every single beat on the End Loves album. He is one of the most amazing producers out there. You know, if you think about it, if you love End Loves music, it's the beat that you like as well as the vocals. So remember that. <laughs> so Phaser has produced about, I don't know, three quarters of the tracks. And we've got Mazer, who's also a producer, who's our DJ, who's produced um, the new Wiley track, which is produced with Phaser. We've got the collaboration coming up with Wiley for the album. How's that sounding? Sound oh, hard. Wow. Well, I'll tell you, it's going to go mental. It's going to pop off. The track is called Nana Nana. Right. Okay. Because you know, he's been down with you lot for a long time while he's always said that he loves End Up, he's got respect for End Up. I know. You had a lot of haters. Yeah, we did. Do you still have haters? Do you care about the haters? How do you feel about that? What can they say? What are you going to say? Songs. What are you going to do? What are you going to say? Really? Come on. Have we got, are you going to say? Have we got a title for the album? We haven't yet. We're still in the yeah. process of picking up one. I reckon it's just going to be a random night in the studio that's going to come to us. Yeah. We'll like, that's it. Bam. we got the title. And other than Wiley, any other guest appearances? Any Americans? Are you going to shout at Kanye later? We haven't planned that. Shouts out to Kanye, but we haven't planned out any collaborations yet. Might be work with Tyo though. Ty Cruz? Yeah. Big song. Yeah. We're going to dedicate the whole next issue to Mike. Yeah, Thoughts on Michael, how did you find out that your favourite Michael Jackson track and why? Um, first of all, Man in the Mirror. Ooh. Everyone needs to have a listen to that song yeah. and look within themselves and check out the Man in the Mirror and this world could be a better place. It's really good. Whenever I'm feeling down or you know depressed, feeling like I need to change my life around, that's the song that I listen to. Yeah. Second, what you know, a person my age when they was a kid did not listen to or were inspired by Michael Jackson. There isn't one, you know. Whether your opinions change later on or you grew up, your sound changed, you like different music. Everyone was in love with Michael Jackson when they were a kid. And um, when I found out he passed away, I was at my mate's house and it was kind of late at night. She got a text on her phone and she just started panicking. She was in shock. I said, what is it? She turned on to Sky News and it just took me a couple of seconds to register. And I was like, oh, I can't believe it. I had tickets for the concert. Me too. So, got that hookup. Yeah, I might be Michael. Don't play drama.
smashed it. Oh, you liked it? You smashed it. I get really no, seriously, on the acting oh, side. Yeah. Really? I've got to. No, no, I don't. I feel like a bread machine now. I'm the one who No, no, no please. Post. I need the confidence but boost. I was like, you were so no, 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 good. Really? Thank you. Have you got experience in acting? No. You can do some more. I want to do more. I love doing it. EastEnders, man. I love it. I mean, other than that, movies. Forget double drama with a movie. It's gonna happen. Trust yeah, me. but and, and that too. But I think you need to get to Hollywood. Yeah, man. no, I want to go there. You I really, go there. really just if, it. if my talent can shine through. But the talent is shining already. Had a wicked awesome. time filming it. Oh, it was just such yeah. a laugh. What a laugh. And it was good because people got to see Talisa in a totally different light, and it's shocking. But it shows that's what acting is about. It's just yeah. becoming a different person. So. All right, last question. It's twenty first next birthday, next week. Yeah. You celebrate. What's going on? I'm having a, a big boy party. I'm not telling anyone where it is because it's exclusive. So all my friends and family and industry is coming down. You yourself are going to be, be there. there. But make sure you invite Chantel Fiddy. Fiddy will be there too. We'll be there. there. Everyone's going to be down there, and it's just going to be a big bash for twenty first. First party I've ever had in my life as well. So. Oh wow! Excited. We're going to drink. Oh, we're gonna drink. We're gonna drink. I think Let's I should... not. I think it's a bit X-rated. You know, the drinking side of things. Yeah. We're gonna drink too much. Put it that way. Yeah. Hey, talk about how much you've drunk today. I've drunk quite a bit today. Really? Lisa. Yes, I've had two mojitos or three and a beer. Are you See, drunk? I haven't drunk only because the wine. I only drink wine. Oh. It does, it's not too good on the vocals. So I will wait until Sensible. after I come off stage. Now let's go drink. Let's go get Let's go get a pint. Yeah. A pint. Yeah. Let's go I get a pint. Pint of wine. You know, you know, pint of wine. Let's do that. Appreciate it. Rewindmag.com. Talisa. We're out. Yeah.